This evergreen vine forms large choku-like seed pods, which over time dry and split, releasing 250 to 1,000 parachute-like seeds, which can travel up to 30 kilometers. It becomes the dominant species in urban situations and competes with or replaces native plant species. It is poisonous with sap that has an irritant effect. The flowers can actually kill our lovely monarch butterflies. Oi! Were you just picking the pods? Do you know there's other stuff you need to do? Okay, let's go through that. G'day, I'm Nick, and I really hate moth plants. Today I'm going to go through a simple instructional video on how to control it. When controlling moth plant, it's important you have the following. Eye protection. Gloves. Full coverage. Sweet as! If not, you have to deal to the toxic sap. Uh. Why me? You can easily control smaller vines and seedlings by working your way to the base of the vine and carefully pulling it out, ensuring that the root system is completely intact. We don't want it re-sprouting. You can cut larger vines using loppers, secateurs or a pruning saw. Cut at the base of the vine and then apply your herbicide directly after. Hey, 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 stop! That's not how you do it! Oh. Removing all the vines from the tree isn't always necessary. Once controlled, it should die where it is. This can be time consuming and can actually damage the poor tree. Pick low hanging pods by hand, and for higher pods, improvise using something that has a hook like feature, like a rake. If you want to pick like a pro, you can even use a professional fruit picker. If you can't find anything else, get creative. Make your own. Control vines, pick the pods, good to go. Cheer boy! <laughs>